Percy is 12 years old and holds a rather impressive record of six school expulsions. A field trip goes wrong once his teacher turns out to be one of the three Furies. Percy's aromatically challenged stepfather turns out to be quite the poor person as well. Sally, Percy's mother, takes Percy away for a few days to Long Island. Halfway through night one of the trip, Percy's friend Grover reveals himself and warns that Percy is in deep trouble. Percy's soon being brought to a demigod camp where his mother believes he'll be able to learn to protect himself. While they're heading to the school, Minotaur gets involved. Soon Percy's mother appears to die and it looks like Grover's going to be gone next. Percy ends up fighting the Minotaur off, saving Grover, and escaping to the camp. Percy then meets Annabeth, daughter of Athena. Then he meets Luke, his counselor. Soon enough, Percy is injured in a game of capture the flag from an Ares attack. A river cures him and Percy comes back to a heroic victory. Naturally, it all gets a little more complicated when the Hellhound shows up. It eventually is defeated and Percy heads back to a healing session in the water. Poseidon's trident is soon teaching Percy that he's the son of Poseidon and that he's got a whole lot of potential. The story then reveals that Zeus's master bolt is gone and Percy is the number one suspect to have stolen it. Charon believes that it's in the hands of Hades. Percy is soon searching to find out for himself. Percy has ten days to find it. Annabeth, Grover, and Percy are soon on an adventure with Luke's flying shoes. The only way that Percy can get in is through Hollywood, because that's where the entrance is. No surprise there. A number of Greek monsters start getting involved, and Percy is soon told that his mother isn't actually dead. Even Luke's shoes start to work against them, but they eventually make it into Hades' home. Percy steals the Helm of Darkness, which can make him into a shadow. Percy is soon running at the discovery that Ares' backpack had the bolt. Percy ends up beating Ares. The Furies are asked to return the Helm to Hades. At the 600th floor of the Empire State Building, Percy gets to return the bolt to Zeus. Percy is soon at camp having fun again. Percy is soon at the camp having fun again. On the last day of camp, Luke reveals that he'd worked for Kronos to steal the bolt, and Percy is again fighting for his life. Charon saves Percy from a scorpion that poisons him. Percy decides to live with Mom for school. At the end, Grover dreams about finding Pan.